Alright, what's going on dudes and welcome back to Minecraft. We almost didn't make it. I spent around five minutes just attempting to log in and that seems to be happening to me as of late. I don't know if it's just me or if there is some sort of universal issue with the login servers being constantly DDoSed by the millions of people attempting to play Minecraft, but either way, we're here now and that's all that matters. Though unfortunately, tomorrow I won't be here. Rather, I will be under anesthesia having my wisdom teeth violently yanked out. So, that in mind, I thought I'd choose a custom map and stock up on a bit of footage so as not to leave you all hanging, even whilst I am lying in bed, writhing in pain, unable to speak. That's a picture for you to picture. <laughs> anyway, this is called Cube Inc, and it comes pretty highly rated. It seems to be quite lengthy as well. So, hopefully it ends up a fun map and we shall give it a go so we have music discs I don't quite think they're anything of significance but we can take them or we could put them in the jukebox but ah let's not waste any more time I can only assume this is a chest it's some sort of custom texture pack for the map so that's cool this is a workbench furnaces and to main base these are iron doors, and I don't see any switches nearby. So, I guess it's off this way. Kind of a, a dreary atmosphere, I must say. It seems like Mr. Texture Pack forgot to include the, the rain. <laughs> so that's, that's interesting. I guess we can't get back there either. I don't know if that was done on purpose or not, but all I see is the particles from the rain hitting the ground. Fancy, fancy that, Mr. Texture Pack. So, rules are somewhat cryptic. They say something along the lines of don't break blocks, which is pretty usual, but you can break blocks if you think you need to break blocks. <laughs> so, yeah. Welcome to Cube Inc. West. We make sure you always have the best for building. Do not enter dangerous materials within. Oh, but we need to get in there somehow. And I know just the way. So, the same goes as well for, for placing blocks. I guess we have a little opening here. Let's just make sure we're not bypassing anything. Thankfully, this is not a map where you have to collect I diamonds from chests or, or whatever score system there is. And it's also a play on peaceful map, unless told otherwise. So, don't break blocks unless told. Or, no, don't break blocks unless you think you need to break blocks, and don't place blocks unless you think you need to place blocks. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so level 1, lobby. Level B1, CEO. B2, office complex. Level B3, manufacturing. And level B4, under construction. Ladder Vader, out of service. Well... That's not going to stop me. <laughs> Warning, do not use. This area is closed off until further notice. I may as well actually give the, uh, the backstory, which, um, while we're, while we're going on down the ladder, Vader, Darth Vader, I guess we have a stop off here. Any way to get through? Is there a button? Yes, there is. All right. Ho hopefully this doesn't trap me. That would be a bummer. This looks abandoned. Yikes. Cubink CEO, John Goutlet. Place here, two but Okay, so we don't have buttons. We need buttons. Thankfully, we can get out. Um, okay, so the backstory is Cubink is apparently some sort of provider of, of cubes for all of Minecraftia. And apparently what happened with, with Cubink is that they stumbled upon a, a new dimension, which I can only assume was the nether or something like that these look like tombstones and when they started gathering resources in the form of cubes from this dimension uh, they found out too late after distributing them that let's see okay one button that's nice they found out too late after distributing them that these blocks contained some sort of pathogen and they began to infect all of Minecraftia and people began to murder each other not because 
of the pathogen, but because it was sort of like a zombie outbreak, and the survivors were, were trying to murder the infected, and it became a big, huge clusterfuck of people killing each other, and Cubink caused all of it. So, as a, I guess it would be a former employee at this point, it is apparently my job to get to the bottom of what caused the outbreak of, of terribleness, and things like that, and that is, that is what we're doing here. We are getting to the bottom of this outbreak of terribleness. This some sort of particle accelerator? Obsidian control center, entrance to lava tube, all these things are blocked off. Blarg. So, I guess we have two buttons, so we should be good to go, I suppose. So let's head back up to the CEO's office and uh, go through those couple doors. Hopefully, hopefully that leads somewhere. We shall see, I guess. All right. We need two buttons. There's one. Oh, I guess we only needed one. Okay, warning, if in SMP do not place button, <laughs> put button below to turn on self-defense mode. Warning, in SMP do not place. If you are in SMP, place it there. Okay, so we're in single player, so we don't have to worry about that. Hello, you've just entered the EPSR, the Emergency Protocol Safety Room. This room will keep you safe from all problems. We will inform you when it is safe to exit this room. Food and water should be delivered shortly. We at Cubink wish you the best of luck in surviving. It's dark. I can't really see anything, so place button and I guess push button, and I'm sure the gravel is all going to fall down. Oh, crap. That's not good. Oh, my. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Well, does that conclude our... Huh, no. Oh, well, fancy that. He killed us on purpose. That is the second adventure map, which I have seen do that. The first of which is not actually released yet. Hint, hint. <laughs> I just... That's a spoiler. That's not... No. No, it's not. Anyway, okay. So we just got killed and respawned in, in the real starting area, I suppose, and it looks like we'll be back here later on as well. Chapter 1. Testing with benefits. Good morning. Please exit through this door. Test chambers. I forgot to mention as well that Cubink has a lot of testing chambers to test their cubes to make sure they are safe. Apparently the testing chambers didn't actually work too well in detecting the pathogen that's killed all of Minecraftia, yeah, leaving me as one of the few survivors. By using the self-defense button on your EPSR, you have notified us that the world is no longer safe. To make sure you leave prepared for the worst, you shall be put through a test course to test your mental and physical abilities. Enter the door to the left to begin testing if you feel like you can survive. Without tests, you may exit to your right. This choice may have terrible consequences, so we advise against it. Good luck. Not sure if this is reverse psychology or not. Let's just do some tests. Why not? I anticipate reverse psychology, but it's it's cool. It's cool. Let's uh, let's do this thing. All right. You will now enter the hub. Here you will test through three courses for buttons to the remaining tests. Each test has a course. Each test course has a specific part to make it unique. The difficulty is the same in every course. Good luck. Right out. Keep buttons here. Spiderweb course, ice testing course. Do not use. <laughs> oh, that's probably where you uh, you enter the other dimension. Basic blocks testing course. I like the word basic to start off with. So let's give that a try. Do not enter. Take the tools in the chest with you. You will need them. You are searching for a chest somewhere in these mines to help you receive a button. Good luck. Return items after you leave the mine. Turn back to peaceful after you leave this area. Only take one set each time. Turn on easy now. 
Oh, shnikes, I hate monsters. <sighs> Darn you. All right. So, should we only only take one set at a time? Okay. This is going to this is going to be dark and stuff. I may have to up my brightness a little bit. But yeah. Let's let's do this thing. Oh, this is super dark. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I need to up my brightness, so give me one second and I will be right back. Okay, now we plunge into the scary darkness of I don't like this place at all. Eek. Oh, that's a creeper over there. Oh. Why? As nifty as the story may be, yikes. I don't understand why adventure maps contain areas like this. Nope. Uh, no, no, no. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay, this looks like it has a bit of light, which is nice. Oh, from lava. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Don't want to go in there, so I guess we will surf the river somehow. Or we won't. Hmm. Apparently not. I guess we will go back up here. Perhaps there's something. Eek. Oh, it's so dark. It's so very dark. I wish you gave me torches. That would be kind of helpful. Extremely helpful, actually, because this is pitch black. So, lots of post-production gamma correction. Lots and lots of it. And lots of it. Jesus, man. I just upped the gamma like all the way on my monitor and I still really can't see anything. This is no good. Oh dear. And then I'm probably going to have to work my way back. Oh shoot creeper. Nope, 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 nope. Oh go ahead and explode in the water, it's okay. Nothing will even... Nothing will even happen of terribleness. I do assure you in in our stone, stone, okay, so we do have a button. We do have what it takes. Let's head back this way and see what's up. Alright. Oh, I just went the long way up the waterfall. I guess there were two directions, and I went the longer of the two. Just my luck. Well... Let's head back. I think I'm going in the right direction. Anyway, I assure you, in our map, there are no dark areas. So, you can... You can know that. <laughs> um, yeah. Pretty much. Okay. Good God. I can't see where I'm going at all. This way, I hope. Yeah, I remember this dirt patch. Okay. Sweet, we're back. We're back, we can see again. Thankfully. Okay, so we should craft ourselves a button. Excuse me. And we put that somewhere. So let's get back up. All right, so I guess we, um. Oh, we don't want to go through there because then we can't go back. So keep buttons safe here. And let's hope that these are not super dark caves and stuff. So spider web testing course. Oh boy. I see water down there. Oh, whatever. This could be long. Eesh. Aim for the next spider web. There we go. Hopefully there's one around the corner. Yes, there is. I think it takes about 30 seconds to fall all the way through a spider web, something like that. So we can either wait until we fall through to the next one, or... Yeah. 
That seems like kind of a sketchy, uh, sketchy around the corner strafe jump right there. So I think, oh no, there's one right down there. Let's just go to that one. Let's just go to you. Eek. And then we will go back to you. And then, oh, we do need to change back to easy. So, or peaceful, excuse me. So, yeah, there we go. And I think we're probably safe to fall through, actually, at this point. But, oh, let's just, let's hit that spider web right there. It's going to be a pain to get back up, so I hope there's another method. All right. I certainly hope there's another way to get back up, because otherwise, otherwise, I don't know where exactly where it's, there we go. There we go. Oh, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Sweet. <laughs> that wasn't bad at all. I guess now we do the ice testing course. Yeah, right. Cool, cool. Let's keep this button here as well. And I don't know if I can see how many doors. Just three. Okay. So there's no there's no trickery here. We're not supposed to enter that. So. Okay, ice in this texture pack is kind of gnarly looking it just looks like I think it might just be invisible it's just slightly not invisible blocks Woo. Eek. okay okay we got this don't you dare fall off <clears throat> Though it doesn't seem like it would be too big of an issue. It seems there is a layer of MC edited floating water above. Nope! Damn it. Ooh. Yeah, there's a lot of water above the lava. Yikes. Okay, let's try that again. Can see why he wants us to use his texture pack, though. Just, just want to make our lives more difficult. I, I understand your MO, my friend. I guess that's for our triumphant return. That's us. See the chest. We're, no, 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 no. I hate you so much. I hate you so much. Uh, ever since, ever since, was it 1.6 or was it 1.7 where? I think it was 1.6. It's so difficult to transfer ladders because of the whole no skipping thing. Damn you. So much. Oh, come on. Come on. Thank you so... Oh my god, no, no. Just no. Just straight up no. Oh, this is such... A, this is going to be such a pain. It's going to be such a pain. No, not this. I have to strafe onto this. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you so much. We made it. Ugh. That was... That was serious business right there. Okay. Mm, that's not cool. Not cool at all. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, it's all right. The, the, we don't have to go through the ladders again. We don't have to go through the ladders again. That button will just be floating in the water and we can grab it and... Ah, darn it. Oh, so bad. So bad. Oh, there we are. <laughs> we have we have all our items back. Let's Let's just get out of here. Just get out of here. I am over this testing course by a long shot. Okay. Whew. I think we're good to go. That was no small matter getting through there though. Door one. 
door two, and door three. Error message 1092. Test complete, not found. I guess our computer simulation has bugs. Fancy that. Okay. You may now exit into the most likely destroyed world. No? No, you son of a bitch. I guess we need to... Hopefully there's a button down there. Son of a... I'm gonna have to break the door down. Where was the fourth button? Where was the fourth button? Oh, man. 